Just wondering, of all the Marvel fans out there, am I the only one that knows that Tony Stark had a Infinity Stone in his chest for the last two movies? Actually, three, four. Does anybody else know that? When he built a Hadron Collider in his basement to create a new element, it was based on design and an element that his dad found. But what did his dad study for almost his entire life? Well, the Tesseract. And the Tesseract, as we know, was the casing of the Space Stone. His dad didn't just find a new element. His dad figured out the very elemental structure of the Infinity Stone inside. Tony Stark didn't just create a new element. He created a synthetic Infinity Stone and used it to power his suit. And then ever since then, he got more powerful. His suits got made smaller, more compact, and able to fit into other places, like nanites. And then, if you remember, in Infinity War, um, Thanos was wailing on him and shooting him with full-on Power Stone uh, blasts. And he took it, and his suit was able to take it, because it was powered by an Infinity Stone. Think about this. In Infinity War, Thanos went toe-to-toe -to -toe against the Hulk with just one Infinity Stone, the Power Stone. And he wailed on the Hulk and beat him bad. He had four Infinity Stones when he went up against Tony Stark in the Iron Man suit. And Tony took it and was able to cut him and almost beat him a couple times. That was because he was already powered by the Infinity Stone. So, did he have to die in Endgame? I don't think so. And the next time we talk, I'll let you know about how I don't think Tony Stark killed Thanos. No. I think there's more to it than that. And we'll talk about that next time.